welcome back to the channel so in this video I'm going to be talking through my winter wardrobe and I have created a capsule wardrobe for winter I want to talk a little bit more about how it can be really beneficial and how it can be really helpful to build a core collection of pieces for winter so for me a capsule wardrobe is basically a collection of core basic pieces that are really interchangeable you can dress them up multiple ways and they're also classic statement pieces that never go out of style okay so here is my winter wardrobe rail. Now the pieces of clothing that I have here are real statement pieces. They're pieces that I have invested in both because they're going to last me a long time and one thing I find really important is purchasing items that have longevity and a better quality rather than purchasing into trends that are only seasonal. So starting with a basic black turtleneck a piece like this is so essential because you could wear it in so many different ways. It's so versatile and you can also dress it up. So you could wear something like this in the evening, you could wear it in an office environment, or you can wear it super casually. It's also great because I feel like it's one of those pieces that you can just throw on. It makes getting ready so much easier because you can just throw it on with some jeans, trainers and a big overcoat and you're pretty much good to go. winter wardrobe essential is something like a really chunky jumper something like this which is from under the stories this is a real classic piece I have had this in my wardrobe for a while I absolutely love it it's that fisherman rib jumper and I love the color I love how warm it is and one thing that I really like about this is the super deep cuff I feel like little details like this help to elevate a piece Something like this is really simple, it's really interchangeable. Every single coat I have here you could dress it up with. Another great thing about a really chunky turtleneck like this is that you could definitely layer up so you could wear a thermal underneath if it's super cold but it's also something that is really elegant and timeless and I think it would also look really beautiful with a silky skirt underneath, maybe a pleated skirt. I feel like you could dress this up or you could even dress it down. next piece is a really classic piece and it's a camel turtleneck from Arquette. Now if you have been subscribed to me for a while you'll know Arquette is one of my go-to's for really basic but classic pieces. Something like this will take you a long way and it lasts such a long time. I really like this one once again because of the deep cuffs but also the fact that it's slightly cropped because I really like to tuck my jumpers into trousers. This makes it much easier to do and it's also more comfortable. I'm a massive fan of neutrals, it's pretty much all I wear. So something like this is really key. And I like to wear lighter outerwear in winter, maybe some beige coats or white. And I think that a color like this complements it so perfectly. of neutrals I feel like having a bit of print injected into your wardrobe is really important because it just helps to break things up especially when it gets a little bit boring. I think experimenting in winter is a little bit more difficult so incorporating a print like this will really help to elevate your looks. So I really like this jumper this one is from Arquette and I have a couple of these sleeveless knits. Sleeveless knits were a great trend in autumn and it's something that I really want to bring into winter. You could definitely style this up with something like the black turtleneck I'm wearing, but also maybe with a silk or satin shirt underneath. And you can get kind of a preppy yet modern look. So moving on 
on to my favorite thing, which is outerwear. And the reason I love winter so much is because I'm a sucker for coats. And I have a couple of favorite pieces here that I absolutely adore. I'm gonna start with my first one. So this is a beautiful, beautiful camel coat from Joseph. I found this on Farfetch. Farfetch stock amazing, amazing designers. They have so many great pieces on there for every style. And this is something that I've had my eye on for a long time. I've always wanted a Joseph coat because the quality is so amazing. I talked about this coat in my last video and I mentioned that it's one of those lifetime coats. It's something that's going to last you forever. It will wear so well and it will go with everything. This is a real classic coat. It has a slightly relaxed fit, but it's also really streamlined and I love the peak lapels on this. I also love the finishing touches with the tortoise shell buttons. One thing I also really love about this, and it's something that I like incorporating into my wardrobe, is it has a slightly masculine feel to it. So I think when paired with more feminine pieces, it works so well. Another boxy coat is from Under the Stories. I have been loving this coat recently. It's something that I picked up for this winter, but I do see myself wearing this next year as well. This one I really like because of just how masculine it is. It has this really androgynous feel to it, and I think that looks really great in winter. This is something that I really used to look for in coats when life was a little bit more normal because it would make commuting so much easier and just getting my phone out when I was getting on the tube but I absolutely adore this coat. It looks great with the dark denim jeans that I showed earlier, some chunky boots and a big scarf. And something like this will take you a really long way. My last coat is this one from H&M. The reason I wanted to include this particular coat is because of the belted style. And I find that a lot of people are quite scared to buy into belted coats because it can look quite similar to a bathrobe. I can't believe what a great find this coat is because it looks really sophisticated and classy. Whenever I style this coat, I really like to wear it with black trousers or wide leg trousers because there's something about this that feels slightly more formal. It's something that I would really love to wear in the evening or maybe for an occasion. I love how feminine this piece is, especially because I have a lot of more masculine pieces and really oversized pieces. I find that this just helps to pull everything together and make it feel more sophisticated. around piece for me. It's something that I love so much. I'm always comfortable in denim jeans. And recently I have been experimenting a little bit more with different tones of denim as opposed to just going for a light wash. So this pair here is from Under the Stories. This is called the Keeper Cut and it's a straight leg jean. And I love straight leg jeans. I feel like they give a more relaxed and effortless look. Straight leg jeans are great because it means that you could wear some thermals underneath because it has a little bit more room to give. And I really like that you get a relaxed and effortless look with it. Because England is so gloomy, I really like to wear darker tones in winter. And I think a dark wash like this just complements and works so well with darker coats. wide leg trousers again from Arquette. I really am obsessed with this brand and I really like wide leg trousers because of that relaxed look that you get. Wide leg trousers are such a great piece to have right now because of the major changes in all of our lifestyles and working from home more often. So I really like being able to mix both a kind of formal pant with something that's also comfortable. I find that relaxed pieces work really well with more of my smarter outerwear, especially the more structured ones. I feel like it complements it really well. This is a really comfortable pair of trousers. They're the perfect weekend trouser and they look really great with a sweatshirt thrown on or even more of a formal shirt.
So I wanted to include a simple pair of tapered trousers in this, mainly because a lot of the silhouettes that I have are really oversized and balancing it out with some tapered slim leg trousers works really well and I think it will suit a lot of different body shapes. I really like pairing something like this with an oversized jumper and a coat. Again, this is one of those pieces you literally throw on with anything and everything. It's a classic staple that you need both in the office and casually. And I love that about all of these pieces is that you could wear it once offices have opened up again, or you could just wear it casually. be a winter capsule collection without a scarf and I have an oversized scarf here. This is something that I have had my eye on for so long. It's by one of my favourite brands which is called Totem. It's a Scandinavian brand, absolutely love it, I have so many pieces from there. And again I purchased this from Farfetch. I really love that Farfetch stock all of my favourite designers. Also they had a Black Friday sale on at the moment so I managed to get some really good pieces on there. This looks really great thrown on as a shawl. It also looks great on top of this charcoal coat because the colours work together so nicely. I also find that when I throw this on, especially with my charcoal coat, it helps to add a little bit more dimension. And more importantly, it's really warm, so it's going to help you stay wrapped up and cosy through winter. to footwear I have three of my favorite styles here these are ones that I wear on rotation starting with a pair of trainers these are by Veja I absolutely love Veja they are my go-to for trainers because they're so comfortable I went for this pair for this winter because I really like the khaki tone and I've really been drawn to more green khaki colors recently so I really like that it has that slight touch of color on there trainers are great because they help make an outfit look more relaxed especially if I'm wearing something really smart and tailored. It's also great because they're comfortable so you can walk around in them all day. Chunky loafers have been a major thing recently, especially this winter, and I have this pair by Dior. Dior don't tend to do loafers, especially not chunky ones like this. So I immediately fell in love with them when I saw them. They have a really thick sole and I like that they have a little bit of height on them. A lot of people have asked me if these are comfortable, they are but they're also really heavy so you do feel the weight on your ankles but apart from that they're really comfortable to wear i still need to break them in i bought them this summer so i really haven't had a chance to wear them out much moving on you can't go wrong with a ankle boot i have these really classic boots from under the stories but what i really like is it has that square toe because that just helps to elevate a really classic piece these are great because they also go with everything especially denim jeans I really love pairing boots with jeans and a really big coat and I also like these because they're comfortable so I've been able to wear them out and about and they're really easy to wear all day. Right so those are my essential pieces for winter. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative and helpful and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!